we are going to look at the differentiability of piecewise functions. I know you love piecewise functions. So for a function to be differentiable at a specific domain value, the function must be continuous and have the same slope at that given x value. And we're going to look at what that means here. And I think it'll be very obvious when we look at a couple of examples what's going on. So this is my first piecewise function. Uh, and I said this piecewise function is non-differentiable at x equals negative 1. And again, non-differentiable, it means there's no derivative. So I, can, I cannot find the derivative at x equals negative 1 is what I'm saying. And if you look at it, it's pretty obvious. I cannot measure the slope or I cannot find the derivative at negative 1 because this function is non-continuous. I can't measure the slope at a little end point like that. So. I'm saying this is non-continuous, it has different y values, therefore it's non-differentiable at this given point. So let's look at another one. This is another piecewise function. This is non-differentiable, in other words, there's no derivative at x equals 2. Even though at x equals 2 the function is continuous, they have the same y value, the slopes look like they're different. So I have a little bit of a sharp corner here. So I'm saying they have different slopes. In other words, this guy comes in a little bit steeper, and then it looks like this guy's a little bit less steep. Looks like maybe slope of 1. So I have a sharp corner, no derivative. This third example, this piecewise function, is differentiable. In other words, there is a derivative at some given x value, at the x value 4 in this case, because the two pieces meet each other. The function is continuous. They have the same y value here and they seem to have the same slope. It's a nice smooth connection right here at four. So this guy is continuous and it has the same slope, therefore it is differentiable. I think I said that a couple times. All right, same slope, same y value, differentiable. That's what we're looking at. So let's do a couple of examples algebraically. Uh, I want to determine whether this piecewise function is differentiable at the x value two. Two tests, the first test is just to see if this is a continuous piecewise function at two. I'm gonna plug in a two for each x value, and I'm doing that below here, and you can see if I stick in a two for the first x value, I get a y value of eight. If I stick in a two for the second x value, I get a y value of 12. So this function is non-differentiable at x equals two, because I get different y values at x equals 2. So this function doesn't, it's not even continuous. The two pieces don't meet each other at a single point. All right, let's look at another example. I want to determine whether this function is differentiable at the x value 1. Well, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to stick in a 1 for the x value here. And you can see that I get a y value of 3, right? 4 times 1 is 1. I'm sorry, is 4. Minus 1 is 3, so I get the y value of 3. If I stick in a 1 underneath here, I get 1 squared plus 2 is also a y value of 3. So this passes the first test. This function is continuous at x equals 1. Now I'm going to take the derivative to see if the two pieces meet at the same slope, if they make a, make a nice smooth curve. So here's the derivative of the top piece of the piecewise function, right? It's just four. You know how to take the derivative. Here's the derivative of the bottom piece, right? It's two x, of course, just the power rule. So now I'm gonna plug in one to the top piece. Now there is no x here, so the derivative of this, of this top piece is always going to be four. Uh, and of the bottom piece, if I stick in a one, I get two times one is one. So here's the derivative of each piece, and you can see that the uh, at one, the top part has a derivative of four, the bottom one has a derivative of two, so this did not pass the second test, therefore it is non-differentiable at x equals one because I have different slopes at x equals one. So uh, this is the last example, but in order for something to be differentiable, I would have, it would have had to have passed both of these little tests. I would have needed to get the same y value, and these values would also have to have been the same, but they are in fact are different. So this function is also non-differentiable. Well, I hope that works for you. I hope that makes some sense and shouldn't be too complicated, okay?